guys, Alicia from Love Letter Generation. Wanted to jump on today to share a project with you. Just a little easy DIY if you have a sewing machine and some clear acetate. So I went out to the shops yesterday to Spotlight and I found this um, Cricut clear acetate sheets. And what I've done is I've pulled out a whole acetate sheet from the pack and I've cut it in half. So once you've cut it in half, I have then stitched with my sewing machines down the side, like down the edges, and along the bottom, I have stitched those two pieces together to create a big pocket. Like that. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to get out some sequins and create a pretty sequin mix. And we are going to create a sequin acetate shaker flat mail. So I wanted to have these really, really bright sequins in there because I'm going to be using the All Heart collection and that has a lot of bright, fun colours. Not too sure how this is all going to look, but we'll just have to wait and see. I'm going to turn this whole acetate flat mail into a shaker, basically. So it's going to be like a shaker flat mail pocket. Got some cute little stars here, which I recently um, purchased from AliExpress. That's where I get all my sequins from, from the Michael Anderson shop. He is really good with his sequins and his delivery is, you know, pretty reasonable considering it comes from China. So I'm just going to grab a few giant star sequins. Grab some black. I love my zebra black ones. Let's do a little bit of that. Go some sparkly glitter ones. I'm waiting on more of those. I'm sort of left with a lot of um, dust basically with these ones. Let's pop in some of these pretty ones here. Um, maybe some hearts, some pink hearts. A lot of fluoro in there but that's okay I like that and I pop in some of my little crosses as well they're cute and maybe a bit more black black and white zebra to pour this sequin mix into the pocket mm -hmm. 
Not all of it though, keep some spare because then we are going to fold this piece over and stitch down the sides and along the bottom with our sewing machine. So I can't do this on camera because it doesn't fit with where my um, tripod is. So I'm going to be stitching this together off camera. But yeah, you guys get the idea of, of what we're doing here. So yeah, just stitch down the sides and that and leave this piece here open so it creates a pocket. So I'll be back in a second, guys. I think I might also, while I'm at it, I'm actually going to pour the rest of the sequins in here, to be honest, because I'm going to stitch up the top as well. And I'm going to make this whole entire pouch a sequin shaker. So I'm going to stitch the sequins in and then fold this over and stitch down the sides and along the bottom. And I'll be back. Okay, so we're back and I have stitched across the top, down the sides and along the bottom to create a pocket. So there's our sequin shaker flat mail pocket. So then you can just decorate it however you like. It's got sequins all through the back as well as the front. And then you just load it full of all kinds of goodies for your pen pals. Uh, I did end up breaking my needle on my sewing machine <laughs> because this acetate is actually quite thick. So if you have a really good sewing machine or one with a very, you know, big sort of industrial type needle, that would work really well. Otherwise, you may have to change your needle if you end up doing what I did and breaking it. But in saying that, I think it's because it got caught sort of on a lumpy bit when I sort of got around here. And um, with all the sequins that were bunched up. So if you just sort of make sure that you have no sequins in the way when you're sewing, um, yeah, it should, it should work fine. And it's just because I am using quite a thick acetate it's it's almost like plastic working with plastic this one it's very thick and it's very sturdy so yeah I think I'm going to like punch a little hole in the top here dangle a few pretty little charms and yeah it's gonna look really really cute Okay, so I'm going to, with my hole punch, create a hole to pop my eyelet in. So, so I'll be able to attach a cute little charm, which I've got here. Might go this dark pink. Okay, so I've got my eyelet in. Oops. Not having much luck today, guys. <laughs> Okay. 
So, yep. So that's in there. So now we can attach our little charms. And my fingers don't want to be working properly today. All right, there we go, finally. <laughs> the camera again but that is on there we go look at that isn't that cute so pretty There we have it guys so then we're just going to decorate it which I'll do um, do another video for that one so yeah this is just part one of showing you how to create this sequin acetate pouch and yeah I'll come on with a part two video and show you the end result of how I decorated it so thanks for watching guys I hope you all enjoyed it and thanks for all your love and support and i hope everyone has a wonderful day thanks for watching bye